and anything else that uh, any other adjective that you can say that just uh, describes a bond between two guys the way he and I are. We met in 1975 and we virtually moved into our neighborhood one block apart and virtually on the same week. He moved from a different part of the town and I moved from the, the city and we, I think we met, we, we, we often talk to each other and ask each other, how did we actually meet? But I think we actually met walking down the street. And we, and, and we talked and we, we instantly became friends and shortly thereafter we became best friends. We introduced each other to each, fam each of our families and we, there was just so many similarities between he and I. He was the only boy, there were six children. He was the only boy and he had five sisters. I had five sisters and I'm the only boy. Our birthdays were days apart. Um, I'm actually older and he reminds me of that every year. So um, just for a few days and then I call him and tell him, guess what, we're back. So, um, so shortly thereafter we became obviously great friends and, and our families intertwined and so on and so forth. And I had the, the, uh, the wonderful honor of marrying his sister. Uh, and we have been married for one year. Yeah. Yeah. My mother-in-law is like my mother. My father-in-law was like my father. Um, his sisters are like my sisters, and my sisters are like his sisters. So it's not just a it's not just a fleeing romance, so to speak. Um, we uh, we we just kind of grew up together, and that's the way it is. And we've stayed. Our bond has stayed strong ever since. Um, Cheryl's family is obviously very similar to our family, and 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 when we met, when we all met, it was it was instant. Uh, there was just an instant bond as well. Frankie, I'm gonna go back to Frank if you, if I will. Frankie is known by all of our friends, all of the people that we know, all of you people here that know Frank as a stand-up guy. He's a, he's a man. He's a man's man. He he is always there for his family and friends. He doesn't talk a lot about it. He just gets it done, and that's what that's why I respect him so much. Yeah. He was he was actually taught by one of the great guys in our lives, one of our best friends as well, and the late great Al Contreras was Frank's dad. he would say, great job, you paid your dues. He would say, great job, you're independent, you made it. And lastly, he would say, great job, when things got thick, you didn't thin out. <laughs> lastly, I'd like, to, I'd like to say, Cheryl, welcome to our family. We love you. I know I bust your chops as much as I can, but you are definitely a formidable opponent. So, so my toast to you, if everyone would please raise their glasses. My toast to Cheryl and Frank is may God bless you both today and always. I look forward to another 40 years together with you. I wish you the best. I wish you health. I wish you happiness. And if you ever need me, I'll be there for you. God bless. Tell you.